skulls I always stick into the goop itself rather than glue them down now because otherwise they'll get all uh, all the detail on them will get covered up eh Some of these here, I'm going to toothpick on. Using something to stick them on with rather than my fingers because I have stuck a toothpick into my finger before trying to push it down onto something that hurt. Use something to push your toothpicks in with. like to make sure the gaps like this are big enough to get a man through, you know. Anyway, so I know that's big enough. thing a guy could do is maybe have some rebar type pieces sticking out and we'll just use a couple toothpicks for that. Try to put them in spots where you're not going to, like I said before, scratch yourself with them. That always pisses me off. I think that's about it, you know. Let this stuff dry. Then we can put put some goop on it. That'll give the nice gray effect. It'll cover all these then, you know, with all the goop and then they'll all blend together homogeneously. Yeah, a gap there, so I'm just putting some of this stuff on top. It'll look like dusty rubble.
see those came out not bad. They look like stained glass, cheap, fake stained glass. The back side doesn't look as good as the front, but hey, price is right. Total cost on those things is about, oh man, 20 cents. That's affordable. What else? Like I said, that's about it. You do have to let this shit dry here before you coat the goop, goop on it, because the goop has a tendency to dry a little bit quicker. And, uh, yeah, so you want the base, you want everything else to be dry before you go and coat it or something. And then, while the goop is still wet, we'll take these little skulls that we made uh, when we cast it, the other piece. Take those little skulls and we'll set those into the goop, eh? And that way you don't lose the detail in the eyes and teeth and stuff on those. I'll actually look pretty, pretty jerk. It's a nice, nice train type piece, eh? Hey all. so working tomorrow on this thing here. Uh, I've got the radio in the other room, so hopefully I won't get all freaked out over something again. Little, I'll run up just for a second while I'm doing this. But uh, yeah, they're talking about Zimbabwe, man. So they're trying to get the the rich countries to pledge two hundred fifty thousand dollars to help them out a bit, eh? 700 billion to the banks, 15 billion to the auto workers, and they're gonna 250,000 to help out Zimbabwe. Jesus, you know, it's so bad over there that that uh, you know the pirates in Somalia, they have injected, they're they're heroes. I mean, they've injected 30 million dollars into the economy. Holy crap! They they've resurrected whole towns on the coast. You know. Ah. You know, and, 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 you know, what do we want to do? We want to, you know, get all the countries, rich countries together to, to pledge a billion dollars to help with, you know, some of these poor countries help out with their, you know, their uh, infrastructure for, you know, global warming and pollution and stuff, you know, billion dollars. Fifteen billion dollars to the auto, you know, our big three, so that, uh, you know, they can fly around in their corporate jets and shit and piss it away. Yeah, yeah sad state of affairs. Sad state of affairs. And then up here, I mean, our god dang oil sands. Holy Jesus. I'm going to have to do a fucking rant on that, too. I can language, I'm sorry. Something's just getting me miffed. I mean, that's the most, that's the, that's the worst ecological disaster happening that nobody knows about in the world. Uh, all that, what do they call it, bitumen. It's, uh, oh, Jesus, you know, I've even worked, you know, where I was fixing those pumps that they use for pumping that shit out. Eh? 20,000 pounds each one of those pumps weigh. Man, those are big, eh? Climb right inside there. Anyways, the, the, the biggest earthen dam, man-made earthen dam in the world is up there holding in this black yellowy, gucky sludge stuff, eh? It's leaking uh, 11 million liters a day of this toxic shit into the water system up there. There's about 40,000 people living down river from them. And the, the buzz in the industry now is that they want to let the water go. They want to flush her downstream, eh? It's going to be, you know, I've already heard rumors of the Exxon Valdez, you know, 20 million liters of oil that they spilt on up the coast there. The uh, worst oil spill in the world, you know, people are going to even forget about that. Checks are just coming out for that too. Monday, first people got their 